open the DS-160 application form. Select the location. If you are from Hyderabad, give Hyderabad. If Chennai, give Chennai. Whatever it is, give the location. Then enter the code given. Start an application. So the application ID given here is very important for us. So kindly print the application ID, save the ID. This ID is used to retrieve your current DS-160 form. So if you want to make any changes further to uh, open the application again, you should give this application ID. So now we are saving here the application ID. Save the application, then click on I agree. Give one security question and answer it. Make sure that you remember this question and the answer because this is again used to retrieve your application. All the details which we are giving here should be asked by your passport. Give the surname given name this is not applicable wherever it is like not applicable or answer is no just go with no if you have any alias names or any previous names you can give that answers again mention your marital status your place of birth and date of birth should be given as per your passport City, Hyderabad, State, uh, Telangana, Country, India. So the click on next. Give the country of origin is India again. Have you ever hold or have uh, have held any nationality other than the one indicated? If your answer is yes, you can mention yes and give that answer. But generally, it is no for many students. So, national identification number is not applicable for Indian student, but many of students give their Aadhaar card or PAN card here. But it's not mandatory. You can just give does not apply. Even if you're giving the Aadhaar card number, or PAN card number by mistake that is not going to affect your application. So purpose of the trip, it is student. So hence we are selecting academic. And specifically it is student F1. Have you made any specific travel plans? Generally, it is no because many of the students will not do any prior travel plans so we'll click as no if you give yes they ask all other details uh, regarding your travel so if it is yes like they ask you the flight number arrival city etc and etc so hence it is no for many of the students and give the intended date of arrival we generally give 10 to 15 days before the course start date which is mentioned on the i20 If the course started something anywhere 25th of January for the spring intake, we are I'm just taking as 10th as internet date of arrival and the length of stay is two years if you're going for two years course and it is uh, 12 months if you're going for one year course. This is non-immigrant visa so hence don't mention five years or 10 years. Just give the stay as per your uh, course duration. And the address can be your university address, which is uh, mentioned in your I-20. All these details are given on the I-20. Person paying for your trip. If it is self, give it self. If it is your parents, you can give as other person. They ask the details like name of the person, their mobile number, their email ID, their relationship with us, etc. and etc. Okay, 
so as in this case it is self we are giving it as self then save the application because if the page expires the information will be lost so make sure you are saving the application for every page and click on next so a person traveling with you no nobody is traveling hence it is no if it is yes again you have to mention their details so previous us travel information so have you ever been to us so all the answers here will generally no but if you have traveled before if you have any visa before you can mention those details here save the application and then go to the next page address and phone number so give your home address make sure that there are no mistakes given enter the city name state name if applicable and the zip code and the country is india next comes the mailing address if both the address are same you can just click yes if it is no then click no and give the mailing address details as well in this case it is yes next comes the mobile number so the primary phone number should be given if you have any alternative mobile number then you can give the secondary phone number if you are working and if you have a work phone you can also give the work phone number if it is not applicable just click does not apply have used any other mobiles or any other phone numbers in the last 5 years if yes give yes if no you can give us no same with email id give your email id have used any other email id no in this case then comes to the social media platform if you are in instagram facebook just give those details here there are chances that the officers can come to your social media pages and have a look so you can make those instagram or facebook pages private or delete such information which would affect your visa decision so click on the social media provider and give the name which you are there on the particular website or the facebook page then save the application go to the next page then provide your passport details generally it is regular give the travel document number the passport number which is uh, found on your passport passport book number does not applicable for any applications again city where the document was issued it is hyderabad in this case if it is delhi mumbai give whatever it is and if the state is displayed on your passport you can mention that country india give the passport issue date and expiration date all these details are found on your passport So we're just taking some random numbers here. Have you ever lost your passport? No, in this case. Give as per your application. If you have lost it, you can give as S. Next page. So U.S. point of contact. So for the academic students, this is generally the contact person name given on the. I twenty. If you go through your I twenty, you can see the contact person name and the details that can be given here. So take the details from your I twenty contact person name. Give the organization name. Nothing but your university name. Relationship with you. The nice school official. The address. of the institute is again can be found on your i20 city pittsburgh st 
update Kansas. So enter the zip code which is mentioned on your I-20. Phone number and email ID can be taken from their website. If you don't found their email ID, you can just click on does not apply. Save the application and go to the next family page. Give your father's details and mother details. Surname, given name, the date of birth. Is your father in the US? No. If it is yes, you can give us. Then comes mother details. Mother, surname, given name, her date of birth. Is your mother in the US? No in this case. Do you have any immediate relatives? not including the parents in the united states you can find the details here if husband wife children siblings so any immediate relatives are there you can mention as as otherwise you can mention no do you have any other relatives no save the application continue work and education information so primary occupation so when you're doing this segment if you're currently employed you can give your employer details if you're a student currently you can mention your institute name if you're not employed mention not employed and reason for not employed in this case it's just two to three months the bachelor's is done so hence we are giving or explaining the situation started the process for master's admission in usa have you previously employed no have you attended any institution before Yes, so here we can mention the previous education details. Name of the institution, address of the institution, then city, state, and zip code. So as this is like bachelor's, you can mention the course of the study. If it is 12th or any other course you can just mention like academic or vocational but as this is like bachelor's we are clearly giving the bachelor's course name we have also given the major we have selected course start date and course end date should be given this can be found in your academic documents Save the application and uh, go to the next page. So now we can keep the other details like do you belong to any clan or tribe? It's no. Mention the languages that you can speak. Telugu, English and Hindi in this case. If you know any other languages, you can add them as well. Have you traveled to any other countries within the last uh, five years? No. And again, it differs from case to case. Give as per your profile. Have you belonged to the contribute or contributed? Many things like no again. Have you ever served in the military? No in this case. Have you ever served? Save the application. It's very important uh, to save the application. I am repeating it again. Otherwise, you would lose the information. You have few more security and background questions. Most of them will be no in majority of the cases. Few more questions. Again, same security and background related. It will be no for majority of the students. Few more background questions. Again, no for all the questions. But I recommend you to read each and every question before you answer it. 
save the application continue the application few more again no few more security questions again no for majority of them save continue and next page kindly give time to each and every question and answer them carefully additional point of contact here you can give the details of any neighbor or friends not immediate family member or the immediate relatives mention their names address mobile number and email id they ask you for two uh, additional point of contacts mention two details as this is like a demo video for you and i am clicking on does not apply but give the particular person's mobile number and email id and the second point of contact details are also given write the name address mobile number and the email id and comes the save is information all the information which we need to fill in this page are found on your i20 so give the save is id as per your i20 name of the school ports of the study address of the institute city state postal code so i request you to carefully go through your i20 form i and mention all these details so here i am giving as per one random i20 and zip code so if you are not giving any of the information you can't go to the next page the an, an error message will be displayed so every detail should be given save it and continue to the application then comes the uh, review page so here uh, you can see the entire information which you have been filling from the personal information if you want to edit any of the information uh, you can just click on the edit information make the necessary changes whichever you did wrong save it and then continue with the application again next so we can now again review our application once again carefully take enough time to go segment by segment check each and every answer given by you spellings details everything in so once you are done with the reviewing of all the segments here comes the final page so we have we have to go through the save is information click next review it and we are here in the final stage sign and submit so once we submit the application no changes can be done so it is very important for every applicant start the application form give the entire details okay i the form which we started is editable up to 30 days once we cross 30 days we have to start a new ds ds 160 form again so start the 160 form give the details keep checking it okay so when you feel that all the details are correct and even your visa appointment is booked then submit the application because as i said once you submit the application if you feel like oh i gave some information wrong in ds 160 form it is not changeable or we can't edit it again so be very cautious and be keen when you are checking all the information once you are sure that all the details are exactly given then click on sign and submit did anyone assist you in the filling out the application form it's generally no give your passport number enter the code shown sign and submit the application just click on it
So we have successfully signed it. Then go to the next confirmation page. So this is how the confirmation page looks. So this is our confirmation page. Save the application, the confirmation form. This form should be carried to the visa interview. We can see three options here. One is print confirmation, print application, email confirmation. So once we submit the application, click on print confirmation and download the copy. And that is the copy which we carry to the visa interview. So I'm showing you how it comes when you click on the print application. So this is how the entire application is downloaded. Like six pages, we are going to download it now. You can clearly see that do not bring this to interview. So you can't carry this for the interview. This is purely for you to verify the answers or to check your answers. So if you want, you can go to back to confirmation. When you click on the email, it shows the email ID. Email, click on email confirmation. The email will be sent for you. If you don't receive the email, take the copy, which was downloaded. I'm done going to back to the confirmation. Then you can exit the application. Uh, DS-160 application ID is used to book our visa appointment as well. Thank you.